The desert in New Mexico. Scorching, arid, and hostile. The classic setting for a western. In the shadows, some unnerving characters wait for nightfall to stalk their victims under cover of darkness. Perhaps the most formidable but least known killer in America lives here. And it's only a mouse. But a mouse that hunts like a lion and howls like a wolf. The grasshopper mouse is capable of killing animals up to three times its own size, no matter how venomous. While attempting to immobilize a scorpion, it sometimes gets stung. It should writhe in agony, but it barely flinches. It may be immune to the poison. It's hard to imagine a mouse as a predator, but this is no ordinary mouse. It behaves more like a carnivore than a rodent. A female howls to attract a mate. A male responds instantly. Courtship in this species can be a lengthy affair, but the pair may maintain a loose association all summer, so it's important to choose the right partner. Like wild cats and dogs, they use scent to mark the boundaries of their home range. Glands near their tail produce a musky secretion, which they rub on prominent rocks to warn off intruders. Their howl is an ultrasonic squeak beyond the audible range of most humans. Here, the sound is at half speed so that everyone can hear it. At midday, the ground temperature in the desert can rise to over 150 degrees Fahrenheit. A meter below ground, it remains at around room temperature. To escape the heat, the mice dig a deep tunnel down which they'll retreat at dawn. Grasshopper mice are found throughout the western states of America. But like all carnivorous animals, they're scattered because their prey is thin on the ground. Its keen sense of hearing enables the mouse to locate potential prey at night. As its name suggests, grasshoppers are a favorite food. The mice survive in this parched land on the water they get from their insect prey. The fat and protein are important too, especially to an expectant mother. Shortly before she is due to give birth, 
the female prepares a bed of grass stems. The male plays no part in rearing the family. Grasshopper mice are voracious predators, but they're not without enemies. The gopher snake feeds exclusively on small rodents. The mouse is cornered, but it seems more alert than alarmed. It may be we and sleek it like Robert Burns's mouse, but it's neither cowering nor timorous. The mouse waits for the snake to make its move and then makes a dash for freedom. Thwarted by a mere mouse, the snake slithers off in search of easier prey. The desert looks inhospitable, but many species of rodent live here. The kangaroo rat, with its long tail and huge feet, is probably the best known. It feeds on seeds, which it stores in burrows for times when food is scarce. The underground larder can be left unguarded. Few mice will risk being caught thieving by the owner, but there's one that will. The grasshopper mouse shows no fear. Although it would rather eat flesh, it will feed on plant material when prey is scarce, and a kangaroo rat store provides a welcome meal. The mouse could survive on seeds, but it prefers to prowl the desert in pursuit of crickets and grasshoppers. About a month after mating, females give birth to between two and five young. There are four in this litter. The babies are born blind, hairless, toothless, and completely helpless. They weigh about two grams, and each one is the size of a baked bean. But on their mother's rich milk, these youngsters will double their weight in three days. Even at this age, their killer instinct sometimes surfaces. The babies soon establish a hierarchy within the litter. When food is short, the dominant individuals monopolize the milk supply and survive at the expense of their weaker brothers and sisters. During the day, grasshopper mice rarely come to the surface. It's not only the heat, there are sharp-eyed predators out there. The roadrunner is a large member of the cuckoo family. Despite its comical reputation, it's an accomplished hunter. It eats small birds and mammals, insects and reptiles, 
even poisonous ones. It regularly eats rattlesnakes, scorpions and tarantulas. Little wonder the mice stay well out of sight. At night, the roadrunner is at rest and the mice can come out. But there are hazards of a different kind, some of them man-made, which remain after dark. Rubbish dumped on the roadside is a potential death trap. Attracted by scraps of food and drops of sweet liquid, the mouse clambers over a jumble of traps and pitfalls. Mice are excellent climbers, but even they can't scale a sheer glass wall. This mouse was lucky, and so were her babies. The young mice are four days old. Their hair is beginning to grow but their eyes will not open for at least another six days. The female continues to give them her undivided attention, feeding and grooming them, and defending them if necessary. To produce enough milk for her growing family, she must eat her own weight in food every day. This means long hours of hunting. A pocket mouse digging for seeds attracts her attention. Like a cat, she creeps up on her victim. She kills it with a single bite through the spine or base of the skull. If she's hungry, she'll gorge herself on the whole carcass, but often she eats only the brain. The killer mouse isn't the only mouse killer in the desert. The American badger is found throughout the western states, but it's most numerous in arid areas, where there's an ample supply of rodents. Even a predatory mouse is potential prey. Its sensitive nose informs the badger where food is concealed underground. Equipped with strong, sharp claws and powerful forelimbs, the badger bulldozes through the earth. The large holes it excavates provide homes for coyotes, foxes and even rabbits, but no shelter for a trapped grasshopper mouse.
The mouse searches for an escape route, but this time its chances of survival look slim. Badgers usually hunt larger rodents, like prairie dogs and gophers. They only unearth mice when they're really hungry. Normally, a mouthful of mouse isn't worth the trouble. There's little activity during the heat of the day, but as the sun sets, the desert revives. The horse lubber is a large desert grasshopper. Its powerful hind legs could damage a mouse. The hunter must keep well out of range. Twenty days old, the babies are weaned and need solid food. Like lion cubs at a kill, the three-week-old mice squabble fiercely for their share. In times of shortage, only the strongest will survive. They keep their eyes tightly shut to protect them from the sharp claws of their litter mates. The youngsters are becoming more adventurous by the day. It's at about this age that they take their first tentative steps beyond the safety of the nest chamber. A peek at the big wide world is enough for the moment, at least until reinforcements have been mustered. But the urge to investigate is irresistible. Even at this tender age, they're exceptionally bold and inquisitive. Young mice are particularly vulnerable to predators. Many will die before they reach one year of age. But the coast is clear, and soon the whole family is exploring their new environment. Grasshopper mice are born killers. They instinctively know how to deal with potential prey. It's crucial that they should be able to fend for themselves. Their mother is due to give birth to a second litter and she'll soon have no time for her firstborn.
Just occasionally, instinct isn't enough. Darkling beetles are large and nourishing, but killing them is no simple feat. When threatened, the beetle exudes an acrid substance from its rear end. The attacking youngster gets sprayed in the face. While it rolls frantically in the sand to rid itself of the irritant, the beetle has time to escape. The killer, it seems, has met its match. But there is a way to neutralize the beetle's defenses. An experienced mouse grabs its victim and jams its posterior into the sand before it can take aim. Spiders have a frightening reputation, and none more so than this species. In fact, the tarantula is a mild-mannered creature. It will only bite in self-defense if it feels its life is threatened. Its venom isn't lethal to humans, but it's enough to knock out a mouse. The long hairs covering its limbs and body are also extremely irritating. But it takes a lot to deter America's least known killer, a mouse which patrols the Wild West, hunting like a lion and howling like a wolf.